Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the playthrough of AC3. In the previous episode, we did a little, a very short homestead mission right about there. And below over here, there is like this cave with a collectible in it. But I noticed that it still had um, some unimmersive shader. Uh, shaders applied to it but uh, to the collectible like uh, like a big effect to help you find it which i find totally um yeah just like an overcluttered hut there are also elements in game that make it uh, that dumb it down so to say uh, so i disabled that in between episodes with 3d Nijoto software and let's not pick it up Currently the chest is still there, but with the shader effect disabled. So indeed, you already have like this this sound. I'm not sure whether you can hear it in the um, in the in the YouTube video, but I hear it faintly in my headset. You already have a sound pointing you towards collectibles. So th this is how a chest should look. But th instead, there was like this whole big yeah. The, 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 artificial intelligence it techy matrix style effect going on or however i uh, can describe it but uh, yeah now that is uh, disabled so that's good hopefully i already have yeah i don't think i disabled other chests but i had another chest earlier which didn't have the effect so i'm not sure whether it's region dependent whether i have to I hope I will not have to disable it for chests in each separate region because that would be very annoying. Um, I already disabled I think 20 or 25 shaders or something in total. Every shader just makes the game more cartoony so to say. With like, like looking glasses for like animal uh, clues inside the, the forests. Like a big looking glass symbol everywhere you looked. Not to mention the hut itself. Uh, the, the objective markers uh, that were constantly on screen even if you disabled the hut in game. So there's uh, still a lot of uh, dumbing down going on in these games. Anyways, um, now we, uh, yeah, I think it would be an ID. What's this? Fort Templars. I'm not sure which fort that is. Hmm. What to do? I'm also looking to do more homestead missions to get better uh, income or at least produce from the artisans. Homestead missions, uh, yeah, they increase, let's say, your um, your community um, at the homesteads. More artisans coming in, and that means more uh, products being made, and that means more money. All right, that fort I liberated. Then there was that other fort. We do have like this mission on the. I think it is Fort Monmouth is on a red goat control. Take control of it. I assume that is the fort to the left. So uh, this one, I think it's Monmouth. I don't see any other forts except one that I already uh, cleared. Um, but there was also this little side mission for those pack leg trinkets. No, I don't see it anymore. Yes, over here it is. Captain, that's a naval related side mission. Uh, I have to find those six trinkets. But I already found one, and then you get like a contact, and I think you have to 
either recruits, yeah, probably recruits those contacts, or I'm not quite sure, but at least you'll have to go to them in a location. And in this one, it's the, the third bullet. Explore Fort Walcott and find Kit's former crew member. That's because that, that is like the follow-up objective from finding the first pack leg, or actually I think I found two already. But Fort Walcott, I have no idea where it is. I don't think it's this one. Um, but I'm not sure, but I do know I was roaming about here in the previous episode and it said go to approach the fort. And if I look here, here it also says approach the fort. So I'm pretty sure that is the, um, uh, this is Fort Monmouth. So this is not, not Fort Walcott. And I really don't see any other forts. So for now, I think the only thing to do that I can do, except for some of these interactive conversations that uh, are popping up, which I could do as well, by the way, that are probably like little uh, side missions. But for now, let's um, just do a main mission. I think up uh, after sequence six, we get also assassin recruits. That's also a whole game mechanic that I uh, have not yet unlocked. I think we are now in sequence five or maybe six. I'm not sure. But anyways, um, let's get over here and underway uh, open up two viewing points. So that means we go in this direction. And also same as previous episodes, I um, disabled the uh, hunting clues like like that a uh, shrubbery that deer ate from which can provide a clue of what types of deer are in the uh, area and on my way now to the objective i want to see if i can find those clues uh without the icons i disabled the icons the looking glass uh, symbols because they were way too unimmersive but I did actually have quite a hard time recognizing those clues without the symbols so I'm just trying to look what I have to trying to find one or two so that's I know what to look for when I'm actually hunting maybe over here also a rabbit yes isn't this a clue yes that's a clue all right so this uh, these kinds of plants they are quite small is what I have to look for because for now the rabbits if it's okay there should be on the hunting map yes you see because i found that clue you see that in the top left you see the four types of animals in the region we are in now and the first one uh, one way to uncover them is just to um, to catch an animal uh, and skin it the other way is to find clues and for instance now i know there are rabbits uh, because i found this clue the rabbit is unlocked um, so this is exactly what i wanted to know so yeah, it, it really, they are quite uh, hard to find because especially with these yellow plants surrounding it, um, yeah, they, they only look marginally different, a little bit higher saturation than the um, surrounding shrubbery. But anyways, at least I found one. Ah, here's another one, I think, this one, nice. Again, you, you, the, the, the takeaway is the, the higher saturation of those berries, for instance, if they are berries. Or are they flowers? No, I think they're berries. Alright, so then now if we look here, yes, now we have like deer and rabbits unlocked uh, in this hunting area. 
Uh, and I think there's also another way uh, that clues work. Instead of like shrubbery, it can also be um, animal droppings, like poo. Uh, but that, I think, is much harder to distinguish and to find from the... Um, against the backgrounds. Because I did find them when those clue symbols were still enabled. But that was just by go yeah, going by the, the, the looking glass icon. But even then, when uh, being on top of it, I really could not find what what was the clue in game, so to say, uh, those poo droppings, because it's often like droppings within shrubbery. So yeah, then it, it then a couple of um, rabbit droppings they can easily be mistaken um, with like regular shadows, for instance. So I have yet to find a non-shrubbery animal clue without the symbols uh, uh, that I disabled. So it could be that bigger animals, like these cows maybe, have... By the way, I hear... Nice, I see a feather over there. It's not on the map somehow. That's ah, there it is. It's on the map. By the way, I forgot. I actually also wanted to pick up this one, but I will do that later. Um, what could be is that the droppings uh, of of bigger a animals are bigger. So, for instance, of cows. But ah, there's another clue over here. A really weird one. Flowers in the middle of a sandbank. I guess this is just the same as the one I already had. Yes, this is just for the uh, for the rabbits. Uh, I don't see any cow poo here. All right, let's see. Can I get up here? Yes. This is pretty cool. is very cool all right can I yes jump up there yes nice ah god damn it all right let's do that the other way ah there's another clue so sometimes this one is flying in mid-air sometimes there are a lot of those clues really get up here I do need to do it through these um, blades oh shit right, let's just go like so and then come on you can do this very nice Oh shit, I still cannot get there. Come on! Yes, like so. There are really like little puzzles, these, uh, no. Alright, that worked. These collectibles, they're often, you have to do like a little mini a riddle is maybe a big word. But you have to jump through a little hoop. Right, um, to the right I want to go. Let's keep to the coast. To open up the two viewing points over there. And also let's keep an eye out for clues over here. I 
I do like that clue hunting, I must say. This camp we already liberated. My hut was enabled because usually I disable everything, but then you don't really see the button prompt. That worked. Yeah, man. All right, that looks pretty gross. Um, am I now? Getting no, I need to get to the left. But this doesn't seem to be here for nothing, right? Uh, maybe it's just to get away from those cougars. There should be, yeah, I think it's this tree, right? It's a little bit too straight on and then to the left. Yes, it's this tree, I think. Here we go. there you cannot <gasps> come on dudes get up there or yes that's what we needed Like so. And would this be it? No. Alright, now what? Alright, can I get higher up? Yes. Ah, uh, it's where the um, eagle was. Here we go. Pretty cool. I'm a big fan of tree climbing myself. I used to do it a lot when I was smaller. Uh, oh shit. The thing is, I have no idea how to get off of here. I didn't find that yet. And the problem is pretty hard to see when um, there is something to oh shit uh. God damn it I have no idea I this is the second time that's really annoying this is the second time in those trees that I end up falling or
Um, I'm going to uh, train him now. This is the second time I'm falling, or Connor is falling to his death. I actually don't think there is. Ah, there is over there. There's a way uh, to jump down. Because I didn't really feel like. Dude, uh, any other way to get down with the B button, it doesn't really work if you're high up in between two branches. Come on, I have to... How does this work? This is really annoying. It's right. Like so. Like so. Alright, so this is it. This is where I was. You you can hardly make out where Because of the leaves. Where the uh, pile of shrubbery or, or, or dead leaves is to jump into. So it's really like a blind jump. And as you saw, it can very well be. button that can very well be a death jump and I'm sure this won't be the last tree I'm climbing so I really want to find a way structurally to get down from these because if I just press B yeah I'm stuck over here and I'm afraid if I press B again god damn it if I press B again I'm pretty sure he will just drop the... Uh oh, 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 my fucking god. Man, this is annoying. And this is really a, a, a game design oversight. Come on, don't make it this hard for a player to get down from these trees all right what you could do is before you climb up check where the uh, leaves are they are over there so they're to the right of the water so that is one way but it's also a bit annoying that there is what i want to check out is a manual way of getting down that should be possible right I don't really think there is. There really is only... Huh. Now this annoying part over here. Uh, there's really... Ah, now it went pretty smooth. I think with the B button, the only thing Connor does is... Um, Jump straight down, and you saw what what happened there. So, and also, if I now press B, I will do that synchronization, which is super annoying. But if I hold high profile up and press B, oh my God, it's so annoying! Then you get synchronization. But then let's just aim for some lower branches. Ah, it does work. All right. That's good to know. Although it doesn't seem to always work. Ah, all right. And then are we below that one? Yes. 
All right, it's actually pretty cool this um, getting down because it's actually um, going up is pretty easy. That is just oh shit! This is what I mean. Why wouldn't he jump on that branch over there? Going up, it is simply um, pressing high profile and, and the, the up button and you will just go up. But going down, you really have to look uh, look for what you're doing because you can very easily uh, yeah, jump to the ground, so to say. It is a finicky mechanic, I must say. Alright, while we are here, then let's do one thing as well. And that is just jump down uh, into the... He into the um, uh, with the leap of faith so there we go all right now it actually goes pretty smoothly earlier i really was struggling with that latest swing all right so here we are and the hay bale should be to the right of the water so that should be indeed straight ahead so probably they place those hay bales just straight ahead. Here we go, yes. Alright, so that is the way just to get down. The easiest way. Um, now let's get to the next one, straight ahead. Looks like it's going to rain, if you ask me. Alright. I thought that would be an easy way to get to the other side. Ah, another feather. Nice. So how can I get to that feather? Ah. Is this one? This should work. Nice. Why no... Why no dice? Oh, Connor. Why no dice, my man? Sorry, I'm just trying to learn the ropes a bit, but I just find it weird. Why wouldn't he dive? Probably because it's not swimmable, but over here it is swimmable. So if I jump into the other direction, like this direction, he should dive. He doesn't. Very annoying. Maybe I should dive with the B button. Check it out. Nope. Alright. Screw that shit. Or maybe that one was not high enough. Alright, here we go. Nope. Yeah, damn. It. Really awkward. I really like the diving mechanic in AT games. Yeah, not really consistently implemented here. Anywho, looks pretty amazing. Where are we? We are. It almost looks like Valhalla, like in the. Looks like the UK, but we are in the Wild West. Or not the Wild West. The Northeast of the US all right where is the next one straight ahead there it is let's check out all right there's like a hay uh, cart over there or a leaf cart so that's where I will be jumping off to god damn it dude how hard is it Right. I really like this mechanic that the viewing points are trees, to be honest. Absolutely very well done. And there we 
go. And then where is that hay cart? Is it over there or is that cart? I don't see it. Really annoying. I think pretty big chance. I hope it is just straight ahead, but yeah, you cannot. It's like a blind. Ah, nice. There was a hay bale. All right, so there's always something straight ahead. I assume that's that's very nice. Um, anywho, because I was thinking indeed that the hay that the cart was more to the left. Where was the cart? Yeah, that cart is over there, which you can, by the way, also use. If I'm not mistaken. Yes. Very cool. Um, anywho. We now have another uh, thing opened up. Yeah, let's then immediately. I will not I only have eight minutes left, so let's just continue a little bit with collectible hunting. There's supposed to be a feather somewhere here. that barn ah. don't ask me where hey pussy I really like this this link with nature in this game like Saying hi to the animals. Ah, there it is. Etc. God damn it, Connor! What are you doing? Nice. No, we want to jump in there. I want to. This is all training to get really to grips with the game mechanics. Uh, all right, I saw a lot of other stuff nearby. There's a chest and another feather. Over there. All right, I hear something, but it could well be again some cave that we have to find the entrance to. So well, I'm quickly racing around. Because I don't trust it fully. Here we go. That's what I mean. It's always like a little puzzle. I do like that. Very nice. And another feather was here as well. Connor, what the hell are you doing? Alright, where is the feather? I already hear it almost. Looking for a bird's nest. I found it. Very nice. There we go. And is there any way, anywhere to jump down into? I don't really see anything. Not sure why this cave is just illuminated. of light in here it's just random light all 
Alright, so that was um, collectible. Technically, pretty good. Finding all that stuff. Let's now get to. Yeah, quickly that one up there. And then we get to the main mission in Boston. Alright, I still have four minutes. Hopefully that is enough. Man, what the hell are you doing? What am I doing? Totally the wrong direction. Such an idiot. Alright, the feather is somewhere near where there is a game. wrong direction or not totally but pretty much the wrong direction I really have to get a better feel for Here, how Connor's direction on the map relates to his in-game movement because that's quite, I don't think it's really consistent. Let's say he's now looking uh, to the bottom right and I really turn him a little bit to the left and now in on the map he's suddenly looking way north and I did not turn him that much to in game so that uh, there's really a disconnect between the two all right there's a delivery request anyways um i saw an animal over here so is that also is there a clue an animal clue here a one. but yeah th that then could easily be the reason of walking in the wrong direction because the map is not really representative of your uh, in-game direction ah it's on a house let's find the house Some kind of a shed here. There it is. In the next episode, or maybe already now, let's get to where we need to go. To Boston.
this crap. I can also take the horse, but it's also, I'm doing it now also on purpose on foot, a bit slower to just get uh, really fully accustomed to the camera and also to Connor's movement. And I will do the um, horse later on. Zoom all the way out, left turn to access fast traveling to all cities in the map. All right, fine. Um, anywho, we are over here, no, and we need to get over there, there is no real fast travel point available, so in the next episode we will make our way over there, hey, there are more, there's a companion mission, alright, I will first do the homestead missions, because I really want to upgrade that homestead as soon as possible, um, so that is what we will be doing, and again, no, ah, nice, there's, I want to say no fast travel points, there's one right around the corner, not that I'm a fan of fast travel, but I do, you just that watched me take a beating, that feel noise, we were just Dope talking, they don't you like just watched me take a beating, that feel right. noise, Sh I think this is the mission. Oh shit. Oh, sorry guys. I want to be non lethal. I think this might be the mission. Nice. Yes. Thank you, my friend. They right. had a little too much beer and didn't like the sound of my voice. No I was only talking to that girl. Your accent is unfamiliar. Where are you from? <sighs> North of here, province de Quebec. And what brings you to Boston? I am a miner by trade, but it's hard to find work. People don't listen to me because of my accent. It might be our meeting was fate. I hail from a village just a few miles north of here. There are the beginnings of a mine. I do not know what is in there, but you might find what you are looking for within. I'll come have a look. If there is something good, maybe we'll talk, eh? Alright, nice. That one, um, I assume is complete. Let's see if there are any others. I don't see any others. Printer shop. Ah, probably because I have now um, notoriety. Let's quickly check that out. I'm afraid that I do. Yes, I have one X uh, to the bottom left. So that's one notoriety. That means that guards will be more perceptive oh, the wrong button no I have to remove it nice that it then appears on the map those um, ways to remove notoriety by bribing a town crier or going to the printer shop so that is also for me otherwise there was no way for me to know whether I gain notoriety but with these icons popping up on the map I know that I have a certain level of notoriety so that's very good and in the next episode, we either do that main mission, and the only thing is, I'm not sure how that works, whether, I don't see, for instance, any homestead missions here, but I wonder, when I fast travel to these areas, whether then more icons could pop up, because you see, there are a lot of icons missing, if you're not in the area itself. 
if you only access it through the map. So, because I first actually really want to do all the homestead missions. I will test that uh, in between episodes. I will quickly fast travel here, fast travel there and see if any homestead missions pop up. At least in Boston, where we are, I don't see any other homestead missions. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next one. And for the meantime, do not forget, always do keep on gaming. See you later.